Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we got these uh, two isosceles uh, triangles. The first one is uh, CDE, and the other isosceles triangle is uh, EFG, fully confined uh, in between these uh, two parallel lines, uh, L1 and L2, as you can see in this uh, diagram. As a result, uh, one of the angles over here is uh, 18 degrees. And this uh, other angle is uh, represented by X. And moreover, we got this uh, right uh, triangle ABC, whose uh, side AB is uh, one unit, whereas the hypotenuse uh, AC is uh, two. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. Let's talk about the vertical uh, angles. The vertical angles uh, are the angles uh, opposite to each other when two lines uh, cross uh, each other, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see these two lines uh, cross each other. And as a result, uh, this angle and this angle are our uh, vertical angles and they are congruent and likewise uh, these uh, angles are vertical angles as well and they are congruent and now let's recall the alternate uh, interior angles uh, theorem the angles are formed on the opposite sides of a transversal when a transversal intersect uh, two parallel lines as you can see in this uh, diagram and as a result uh, this angle and uh, this angle are going to be our uh, alternate interior angles and likewise uh, these uh, are our alternate interior angles uh, as well and they are uh, congruent and now let's talk about uh, 30 60 90 special uh, triangle as you can see this one and here we can see 30 degrees is our smallest angle and 90 degrees uh, is our largest angle so no wonder the side opposite to the smallest angle is going to be our smallest leg and the side opposite to this largest angle is going to be our longest leg. Then in such kind of 30, 60, 90 special triangle, the longest leg is twice the smallest leg. In other words, if this length is A, then this length is going to be a two times A. And this uh, third leg is going to be a times the uh, square root of uh, 3. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And here we can see AB is our smallest uh, leg. Whereas uh, this uh, side uh, AC is our uh, largest leg. And also we can see that this uh, longest leg is uh, twice the smallest uh, leg. So therefore, according to this uh, 30, 60, 90 special uh, triangle, this angle has got to be 30 degrees and this angle is going to be 60 degrees. And here's our next step. We are going to draw some uh, auxiliary lines to make our job easier. So therefore, let's focus on these uh, points uh, D and uh, F. And here we have drawn uh, these uh, two parallel uh, lines uh, that pass through these points uh, D and uh, F. Just keep in mind that all uh, these uh, lines are uh, parallel to each other. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, angle, which is 30 degrees, uh, is a vertical uh, angle to this one. And these uh, vertical angles are uh, congruent. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 30 degrees uh, as well. And now let's talk about uh, alternate uh, interior angles once again. We can see that uh, this uh, 30 degree angle and this angle are uh, alternate uh, interior angles and they are going to be congruent. So therefore, this angle has got to be 30 degrees uh, as well. And now let's focus on this uh, angle, which is uh, 18 degrees. And we can see that this angle and uh, this angle, they are uh, alternate interior angles as well. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be 18 degrees uh, as well. And here's our next step. Uh, let's assume that this uh, angle uh, is our angle uh, alpha. Then uh, this angle has got to be alpha as well, since uh, they are uh, 
alternate uh, interior angles as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, angle uh, C, D, E. If we add these uh, two angles, uh, this whole angle is going to be alpha plus uh, 30 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, C, D, E. And we can see that this is our isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be equal to this uh, angle. If this angle is alpha plus 30 degrees, then this angle has got to be alpha plus 30 degrees uh, as well. So therefore, this angle turns out to be alpha plus 30 degrees. And now we can see that this angle and uh, this angle are our vertical angles and they are congruent. If this angle is uh, alpha plus 30 degrees, then this angle has got to be alpha plus uh, 30 degrees as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, whole angle. This whole angle is going to be alpha plus uh, 18 degrees. Let me go ahead and write down alpha plus uh, 18 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EFG and we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. So therefore uh, if this angle is uh, alpha plus uh, 18 degrees uh, then this uh, angle has got to be alpha plus 18 uh, degrees uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EFG whose uh, interior angles are uh, alpha plus 30 degrees uh, and this angle is uh, alpha plus 18 degrees and likewise this angle is alpha plus 18 degrees as well. And now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees. So therefore uh, in this triangle uh, EFG sum of all uh, these uh, three angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So let me go ahead and write down uh, alpha plus uh, 30 degrees plus other angle is alpha plus uh, 18 degrees and once again alpha plus uh, 18 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. So let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side. Now let's subtract uh, 66 degrees from both uh, sides. This is gone. So therefore 3 alpha turns out to be equal to 114 degrees. And now let's divide both sides by 3 to isolate uh, alpha. So therefore our angle alpha turns out to be 38 uh, degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on uh, this angle uh, EGF. This angle is alpha plus 18 degrees where we figured out our alpha angle 38 degrees. So therefore this angle is going to be 38 degrees plus 18 degrees and that adds up to 56 degrees. So therefore our this angle EGF turns out to be 56 degrees. And now let's recall the straight angle property. This uh, whole angle uh, is going to be 180 degrees and this whole uh, straight angle is going to be the sum of these uh, three individual angles 18 degrees, 56 degrees and this uh, angle X. So therefore let me go ahead and write down our angle X plus uh, 56 uh, degrees plus uh, angle 18 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side. So we got x plus 74 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and subtract 74 degrees from both sides to isolate x. So therefore our angle x turns out to be 106 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 106 degrees and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.